Zotra, I only hope that the greatly compassionate one will proclaim it again to kindly rescue all the cultivators in this assembly and those of the future who undergo the turning wheel so that they may become liberated in body and mind by relying on the Buddha's secret selves. Commentary, I only hope that the world honored one, the greatly compassionate one, will proclaim it again. My one wish is that the Buddha would speak it again so that I can hear it and also to kindly rescue all the cultivators in this assembly. Please speak it also to rescue those of the future who undergo the turning wheel of the six paths so that they may become liberated in body and mind by relying on the Buddha's secret sounds. Based on the Buddha's secret syllables, they will become free. They will not be upside down or confused. We recite the Suragama Mantra every day just to help people stop being upside down and confused to, and to help them stay away from doing things which they clearly know are wrong. For instance, one knows that taking opium is wrong, that it wastes time and dissipates one's energy, yet one still insists on smoking it, clearly knowing that the use of marijuana is a violation of the law, still one must try it out. Well aware that killing is not right, one still takes the lives of living beings. Knowing without a doubt that indulging in sexual misconduct is not right, one conducts oneself in this way nonetheless. Knowing full well that it is wrong to steal, one spends all day and night taking things from other people if it's not a car, it's a tape recorder or a radio. A thief knows full well he is breaking the law and that if he is caught, the police will take him to jail, but still he goes and does it, thus doing things which they clearly know are wrong. Sutra, at that moment, everyone in the Great Assembly bowed as one and stood waiting to hear the first common secret divisions and phrases. Commentary, at that moment, everyone in the Great Assembly the huge multitude of beings in that gathering bowed as one and stood waiting to hear the first common secret divisions and phrases. They all bowed together to the Buddha and then stood on tiptoe waiting for the Buddha to speak the secret sections and divisions of the mantra. Divisions refers to the five major sections of the mantra. The phrases are smaller parts consisting of several lines each, such as Namo Sa Dan Tua Su Chia Tua Ye Erola He Di San Miu San Pu Tua Xia. But these divisions and phrases are secret, that is, they are not easy for people to understand. They are secret in the sense that people do not share common knowledge about them. When you recite them, you do not know what advantages you obtain. I do not know what advantages I obtain. Although benefit is obtained, there is no mutual awareness of it among those benefited, nor is there a common understanding of the mantra itself. Sutra, at that time, a hundred billion rays sprang from the mouth of the flesh on the crown of the world honored one said. A thousand petaled precious lotus arose from amidst those rays. Upon the precious flower said the first common transformation. Commentary At that time, a hundred brilliant rays sprang from the mouth of the flesh on the crown of the world all at once. Shakyamuni Buddha's head. A thousand petaled precious lotus arose from amidst those rays. Upon the precious flower said the first common transformation. A transformation body of the Buddha set upon the thousand petaled precious lotus in the midst of the hundred rays of light. Sutra from the crown of that Buddha's head, in turn, ten beams of light shone forth, each composed of a hundred rays of precious light. Every one of those glowing rays shone on lands as many as the sands of ten Ganges rivers. While throughout empty space there were various secret traces, spirits, 
which are holding aloft a mountain and wielding a pestle. Commentary from the crown of that Buddha's head. In turn, ten beams of light shone forth, each composed of a hundred rays of precious light. Crown here refers to the crown of the head of the first common transformation. Another ten beams of light issued forth out the top of the head of the transformation body Buddha. Every one of those glowing rays shone on lands as many as the sands of ten Ganges rivers. These rays of light shone everywhere on countless countries, while throughout empty space there were various secret traces spirits, each holding aloft a mountain and wielding a pestle. At the same time, that the light shone forth, the various secret traces Dharma protectors held mountains in their bare hands and brandished pestles, like the one way to a Bodhisattva world. They were all over the place, filling up all of empty space. Sutra, the great assembly, gazing upward, felt fearful admiration and sought the Buddha's kind protection. Single-mindedly, they listened as the thirst comes in the light of the invisible appearance on the crown of the Buddha's head proclaimed the spiritual mantra. Commentary The good assembly, gazing upward, felt fearful admiration and sought the Buddha's kind protection. All the great bodhisattvas, great ahas, great bishops, and all the others in the great gathering threw back their heads and looked up toward the transformation body of the first Kamwan atop the crown of the Buddha's head. Some felt fearful when they saw the transformation Buddha, but at the same time they admired that first Kamwan. They loved him, but not with the emotional love that exists between men and women. What they felt was true love, free of desire or longing. They had both these feelings at the same time. They were all struck and yet drawn by love. So they hoped the Buddha would take pity on them and also protect them. Single-mindedly, they listened as the first come on in the light of the invisible appearance on the crown of the Buddha's head proclaimed the spiritual mantra. They were all of one mind. They all wanted to listen to the Buddha. The mount of flesh on the crown of the Buddha's head is called the invisible appearance on the crown. It is called the invisible appearance because ordinary people cannot see it. Those who saw the hundred rays of light and the transformation Buddha atop the crown of the Buddha's head were sages who had been certified to the fusion. The transformation Buddha that was emitted from the invisible appearance on the crown hovered in space and proclaimed the spiritual mantra. So, the Shurakama mantra was not spoken by Shakyamuni Buddha himself in the flesh, but rather it was proclaimed by the transformation body Buddha he sent out into empty space. As to the mantra, no one understands it nor is it possible to explain it syllable by syllable and line by line. But if you want to understand it, I can try to explain it for you. However, this is not the time for that because we are in the middle of the explanation of the Suragama Sutra, and the mantra alone couldn't be completely explained in a year, or even in three years, or even ten years. So at this point, it cannot be explained thoroughly. I will explain, uh, simply explain the general meaning of the mantra. The mantra has five divisions which correspond to the five directions, north, south, east, west, and the middle. The eastern division is the Vara division, with Yashopya Buddha as the teaching host. The southern division is the production of Jewels division, with the production of Jewels Buddha as the teaching host. The central division is the Buddha division, with Shakyamuni Buddha as the teaching host. The western division is the Lotus division, with Amitabha Buddha as the teaching host. The northern division is the Karma division, with Accomplishment Buddha as the teaching host. There are five divisions because 
There are five huge demonic armies in this world. They are demons to the east, south, west, north, and in the center. Since there are these five demon armies, not just five demons, the Buddhas also cover the five directions to suppress the demons. If there were no Buddhas, the demons could appear openly in the world. Within the five divisions of the mantra, there are in general more than 30 dharmas, and it has more than 100 dharmas that can be discussed in detail. There are five major kinds of dharmas. Dharmas of accomplishment. This means that with this dharma, you will be successful in what you seek or in what you vow or wish for. So, dharmas of increasing benefit. This means that when you recite this mantra, you can increase the benefits which you yourself seek and you can also increase benefits for other people. 3. Dharmas of hooking and summoning. This means literally to hook in and catch and to call with a common to own the wicked beings, demons and ghosts. No matter how far away they might be from you, you can bring them in and capture them. For instance, suppose one of them is harming someone, and when they finish, they run away. If one knows how to use the drum of hooking and summoning, then no matter how far that being may have run, you can arrest him. 4. Dramas of subduing. Demons also have spiritual penetrations and mantras which they use. When you recite your mantras, they recite their mantras. But if you can use the Suragama mantra, you can smash through all their mantras. I've told you before that the section of the mantra which is for smashing the demon kings, it also is effective in destroying the mantras and spells. Although I've taught you this already, it bears repeating here. Those who have not studied this yet can take note of it. Why was it that as soon as the Suragama Mantra was recited, the former Brahma Heaven Mantra lost its effectiveness? It was because of the five great heart mantras. Chutuani, Achala, Mili Chu, Puoli, Dala, Ye, Ningchia Li. These five lines are called the five great heart mantras. It is the fundamental mantra for destroying the mantras and spells of the heavenly demons and adherents of externalist ways. It doesn't matter what kind of mantra they come up with, you can destroy it with this one. Their mantras will lose their effectiveness. This drama I've just transmitted could sell for several million dollars, but I do not sell it. Seeing that you have a certain amount of sincerity, I transmit it to you absolutely free. 5. Dramas of dispelling disasters. Whatever calamity is due to occur can be prevented. For instance, suppose a person was still to fall into the sea and drown, but by reciting the Suragama Mantra, he was the catastrophe. He might fall into the sea, but he doesn't drown. Perhaps you are in a boat that ought to sink, but you recite this mantra and the boat does not go down. Maybe you are in an airplane that is destined to crash, but you recite the Suragama mantra and the plane lands without incident. I'll tell you something incredible. I was going to going from Burma to Thailand, an air route, that is particularly dangerous, but during that trip, the plane didn't show the effects of any turbulence. The ride was absolutely smooth. Even the pilot commented, Why has it been such smooth going on this trip? He had no idea that during that ride, the gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division, as well as Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, were on all sides of the airplane, guarding and protecting it. That's the way the drama of dispelling disasters works. When there clearly should be an accident, it can change big disasters to small ones and make small ones never ever happen. Usually, what happens is there's an alarm but no danger if you recite the Suragama Mantra. In general, the mantra contains dramas of auspiciousness. 
This means that when you recite the Sura Gama Mantra, everything goes just as you like it to. It's really lucky and extremely auspicious. The advantages of the mantra are so many that one could not even begin to express them in several years' time. But at this time, I limit my explanation to these few dramas and meanings.